Hey there, hope you're doing well today. Today we've got a flight from here in Marion, Indiana down to Marco Island, Florida. We picked up some passengers here, taking them down there for a trade show. And uh, there are a few clouds moving into the area here, but uh, for most of the flight down to Florida, it is gonna be clear. There's not a single thing on the satellite. So should be a great flight. Glad to bring you guys along. Let's go fly. We gotta motor it until ITT is down around 150 before we introduce fuel. There we are, introduce fuel. Two, three, head light off within 10 seconds. All the gauges look good. ITT, first spike, 756, that's good. Ignition off around 40%. Second spike in the ITT looks good. Starter disengaged. Stable around 65%. And NP is above 950. Generator is online. That's a good start. Alright. Ice protection test. For a minute, ACS is back on, headed off for uh, the start there. And we'll grab the weather. It's on the VOR frequency here at Marion. Weather, wind, 180 at 3. Visibility, 7. Clear, below, 1, 2,000. Temperature, 1, 8 Celsius. Dew point, 1, 6 altimeter, 3, 0, 1, 4. So we will taxi down to 2-2. Two, two, and it has been a minute. No cast messages. For the ice, any of the ice systems, so we'll turn all that stuff off. And since it's clear today, I think we'll just uh, take off and get our clearance in the air with Grissom Approach. Go ahead and set that frequency 2105. And we are squawking 1200. 3014, we'll set that. Bravo, uh, 12 mile uh, RNAV 15, via low approach only, Marion. All right, we got a guy 12 miles out on the RNAV to 1.5, so I have to keep tabs of where he's at. And we will, for starters, just put 7,500. Actually, technically it'd be 6,500 because we're 180 heading. Or one, no, I'm wrong. I believe those are Air Force cadets. All right, beta works, brakes work. Yeah, our heading is 171, so <clears throat> west, even, east, odd. We're going to choose 7,500. All right, all the gauges look good. We'll do the stick shaker test. All right, and that's all good. Welcome aboard the PC-12, everybody. Today we've got, like I said, we're flying from here in Marion down to Marco Island, Florida. Uh, and it looks like beautiful weather all the way down there. There's some clouds, kind of high clouds moving into the area here, but for, for all of the rest of the flight, it's going to be clear. There wasn't a single cloud on the satellite. So it should be a beautiful flight and a uh, good arrival into South Florida. Double check everything that I did with the before with the paper checklist here. All right, and uh, the fat eye fly mnemonic that I use. Flaps are set 15 for a normal takeoff. Enunciators are all okay. Uh, AGM one and two. That's just for the uh, charts. Um, the uh, navigation database actually expires tomorrow, so I'll have to update that before we come back. But for today, we're good. Amps are charging below 30. ACS is in auto. Go ahead and do ice protection on. That's probes on and windshield heats on the light. Inertial separators open. Light idle when we take the runway. Lights. Yaw amp is off. Uh, I need to put flight director and go around and heading mode and yon amp is still off, verified off and just wait for that guy to get out of the way a little bit Marion traffic plot us 9 or 2 1 November Golf departing runway 22 Marion and traffic on the RNAV to 15, how far out are you? It's miles out for Marion uh, RNAV 15 thank you 
All right, six miles out, so he's no problem. Light idle. Everything looks good. Cass is good. And here we go. We're heavy today, so rotating at uh, 82. And uh, be a little bit longer takeoff roll than normal, about 2,000 feet. All right, 70 knots, cross check, everything looks good. And pause it right on the brakes, gears coming up. Bearing traffic, Sundowner 2008, Tango, left squad, new end for runway 22. And got it. Come on, taxi and landing lights can come off. And 400 feet and 100 knots, flaps can come up. And we're clear on the left, we'll go ahead and turn on course. Marion traffic, plot a standard 2 1 November Golf, departing the area to the south, Marion. Christmas my approach, pull out a standard 2 1 November Golf. Under 2 1 November Golf, uh, squawk 1356 for your IFR. 1356, 9 2 1 November Golf. He was ready for me. 9 2 1 November Golf, radar contact uh, 4 south of Marion. Uh, maintain VFR at or below 10,000 for now. I'm working on your IFR. VFR on below 10,000, 1 November Golf. Well, he's got to coordinate some stuff here. And so we'll maintain VFR, that'll be no problem. We just, uh, I mean, the clouds are high, but if they were lower, we just have to maintain our VFR cloud clearances and know that he's not providing any services for us at this point. All right, I'm climbing a little bit slower right now for a little bit better uh, visibility, and by slower, I mean slower vertical speed, higher uh, indicated airspeed. 921 November Golf uh, cleared uh, to Marco Island, Florida, as filed. Climb and maintain 10,000. Expect flight level 250 in 10 minutes. Cleared to Marco as filed, climb 10,000, I'll expect higher in 10 minutes, 1 November Golf. And we are cleared direct, that's 885 miles to Marco. Pretty cool that we can get direct uh, that far out here. In the northeast or uh, the around California, Southern California, you guys that fly around there know that that never happens there. But here in the Midwest we get it all the time, which is pretty cool. Now going down to Marco, I'm not sure, once we get to Florida they may give us some routing. Not exactly sure how that'll work once we get down there. 921 November Golf, contact uh, Indianapolis Center 124.52, we'll see ya. Indian 124.52, 1 November Golf, have a good one. Okay, we'll see ya. Good morning, Indy Center, Pilatus 921 November Golf, 7,900, climbing 10, 10,000. Hey, everyone, November Golf, Indy Center, Raj, you said you're climbing at 10. Hey, firm, 1 November Golf. Roger. Set a cruise climb 150. November 1, November Golf. Climb and maintain flight level 200. Climb flight level 200, 9 to 1, November Golf. And 10,000 feet. We will check cabin again. It's uh, 3.49 and climbing. That's good. The delta pressure is. Um, we don't want, we want to make sure it's pressurizing. And we can turn the pulse lights off and it's smooth so we can turn the seatbelt sign off for the guys in the back. And we are above 780, so I'll pull the power back just a little bit. We're 5 Kilo Fox, got Indy Center, coming main, same puddle with 230. 230, 5 Kilo Fox. November 1, November Golf, on the main, same puddle with 230. 230, 1 November Golf. November 1, November Golf, contact Indy Center, 125.12. 25, 12, 1 November Golf, good day. Good morning, Indy Center, Pilatus, 9 or 2, 1 November Golf, 18.7, climbing 230. 921 November Golf, in charge, climb maintain flight 250. Climb maintain flight level 250, 921 November Golf. November 921 November Golf, contact Indy Center 134.7. Indy Center 134.7, 921 November Golf, good day. 
Hello, Indy Pilata, Slender 2-1, November Golf, 21.3, climbing 250. Slender 9 November Golf, in the center, Roger. All right, well, here we are at 250. I'll let George fly and uh, let the airplane speed up, and then we'll talk about our route. November 9 November Golf, contact Indy Center 128.22. Indy on 2822 on November Golf. Good day. Good morning, Indy Center. Pilatus Slander 21 November Golf, 250. 921 November Golf, Indy Center. All right, we're here at, uh, in cruise at flight level 250, our final cruising altitude, and we've let the airplane speed up after we set power and uh, got it set at about 27.8 psi, burning 408 pounds of an hour and getting 263 knots of true airspeed, which is just a couple knots above book book was uh, 261 so pretty good today and uh, taking a look at our route I know I told you guys it was going to be completely clear and it pretty much is um, looks like some of this stuff is moving over uh, and then of course I guess in Florida anytime you get uh, into the morning you start to once you get to mid morning you start to get stuff uh, kind of popping up like uh, pop up thunderstorm type stuff so there is some activity over on the east coast, uh, around Marco. Looks like um, it's good still, and there's not supposed to be anything. There's nothing in the forecast, but there'll probably be some pop-up clouds once we get there. Overall, it looks like it's going to be a great flight, so I'll go ahead and switch it over to time-lapse for you guys and talk to you on the descent. November 9, 2, November Golf, contact the Center, 134.67. Atlanta Center 12, uh, November Golf, right? November right, golf, without uh, that. One November Golf, contact Atlanta Center 125.9 or 2. November 921, November Golf, Atlanta Center Roger. Stop right. Atlanta Center 1. 1.3, uh, sorry, 124.37, 2430 test. November 921, November Golf, Atlanta Center Roger. November 921, November Golf, contact Atlanta Center 125.62. Number 921, November Golf, on the Number 921, November Golf, contact Atlanta Center 126.42. 921, November Golf, on the Center 1, November Golf, contact Atlanta Center 119.37. November 921, November Golf, Atlanta Center, welcome. November 921, November Golf, contact Jack Center 125.05. That is 921, November Golf, Jack. Number 1, November Golf, contact Jack, center 133.87. November 921, November Golf, Jack, center, Roger. November 921, November Golf, contact Jack, center 1, 3, 3, 3, 2, today. Number 1, November Golf, Jack, center 1. Number 921, November Golf, contact Miami, center 126.52, take care. Flatus 9-2-1, November Golf, Miami Center. Flatus 1, November Golf, contact Miami Center, 127.2. Flatus 9-2-1, November Golf, Miami Center, 718-5190. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are across, or descending to cross Momo at 9,000. And we are just uh, about to pass through 18,000, so I'll go ahead and set standard, or go ahead and set the local altimeter back on the altimeter there and that was a nice cruise there was a lot more clouds than I thought uh, I guess it was all too low to register on the satellite when I looked at it this morning but it was really smooth and we are about 18 minutes out of Marco Island 89 miles we should be able to get the weather now I tried it just about uh, 30 miles ago and it was still scratchy so let's uh, tune that in and see what we got Marco Island Executive Airport Automated weather observation. One, six, three, two, Zulu. Wind, zero, three, zero, pass, zero, niner. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, scattered, three, thousand, six, hundred. Temperature, three, one, Celsius, two point two, one, Celsius. Altimeter, two, niner, niner, five. Remark, density altitude, 1,800. Thunderstorm, information not available. 
All right, the weather there looks good. Just some scattered clouds and uh, light wind, so we'll be landing to the north. We use 3-5, and we should be in there in about 20 minutes. Oh, and I think I forgot to say the Momo is on the Shifty 5 arrival into uh, Marco Island. Well, it's been smooth for the whole flight, but once we get below these clouds, the tops of this, the clouds in the area here, it's going to start to get kind of bumpy, I think. I already feel a little bit of a burble from stuff. So we'll have to slow down a bit once we get in the bumps. Make a smooth ride for the guys in the back. All right, and there's our V path, so we'll go ahead and activate that, and it has captured. So now the autopilot will follow the vertical profile that the FMS has calculated. And uh, we've got 9,000 set in the FMS, but it also will not go below the altitude preselector. Whatever we set in there won't go below that. Minus one November Golf, contact Fort Myers approach 126.8. Fort Myers on 126.8, one November Golf. Good day. Approach 255 here at Kilo. We switched over to 133.5 for uh, Miami. We're not. We're How's not the feet getting. to go? 54 Kilo, 3245. Again, 55 here, Kilo. Near 54 Kilo, 3245. Try that one. 3245, 5 here, Kilo. Sure, 452, turn left direct to the show. Left direct to the four five two. Hello, Fort Myers approach. Pilatus 9 or 2, 1 November Golf, 9,500, descending 9,000. That's 9021 November Golf, my approach, Fort Myers, I'll send there 2995. Advise when you have the automated weather at Marco Land Airport and your approach request. 2995 on the meter. I do have Marco's weather and uh, planning on the visual, 1 November Golf. Roger. Lucky 470, turn left heading. And it looks three, like three, we're going to be just kind of at the top three, three, zero, four, of the turbulent layer. I think if we go much lower, we're going to get into some bumps. And below 10,000, I'll turn the pulse lights on and uh, leave the inertial separator off for now. Ventura 452, close. Miami Center 134.75, good day. Nine two one November Golf, descend and maintain 5,000. Descend and maintain 5,000, 92 November Golf. Alright, we'll we'll descend. Do 800 foot a minute. And we're going to go IMC, so I'm going to slow it down. Once we hit these clouds, they're going to be kind of bumpy since they're uh, cumulus buildups. So I'm going to slow down to around 170. And I'm going to go ahead and open the inertial separator. One November Golf, send and maintain 2000. Descend 2000, one November Golf. 3000, fine. 3000, one November Golf. 20472, turn right heading 110. I really thought it'd be a little more bumpy down here. Okay. Hasn't been too bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. 272, good agent, Close enough, I'm going to go ahead and start listening to uh, the Unicom there. See if we can kind of get an idea of traffic going on. Kind of an interesting development out here that's uh, not on my map as a town, but quite a few houses just kind of in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> just to the south of Immokalee, or I'm probably butchering that, but <laughs> however you pronounce that, Immokalee. Which room are you planning at, Marco? 3-5, sir, one of them are I guess there is quite a bit of development out here, though. I mean, that's... It really is. I guess I didn't realize Naples subdivision kind of development would go this far out, but... Hello, that's 1 November Golf, send me team 2000. 2000, 1 November Golf. Hello, yeah. that's 9 or 2, 1 November Golf, let me know any other field in sight. At your 1 o'clock and 8 months. I did just pick it up and I can cancel IFR with you this time, 1 November Golf. That's 1 November Golf, IFR cancellation received, ready right service, turn made free change cruise, walk IFR, have a good day. Walking 1200, good day, 1 November Golf. Alright, go ahead and switch over to COM2. 3 5 is a right pattern here, so we will join the right downwind on a 45. I think that'll work great. And airport is at 50 feet, so we'll just use 1500 feet for our pattern altitude. 
Marco Island traffic, plot us 9 or 2 on November Golf, 7 miles to the northeast, inbound land 35. Marco. Our altimeters are set. Ice protection is as we need it. Inertial separator is open. Fuel quantity looks good and balanced. Landing gear will get in the pattern. And tax and landing lights and flaps will also get in the pattern. Actually, we will go, go ahead and go approach flaps at this time. We're below 165. Marco Island traffic plot of standard 2 on November Golf. Turning the right downwind, runway 35. Marco Island. All right, traffic, go ahead and go. Taking three five for departure. Traffic. Gears coming down. I see the guy taking the runway there. Looks like uh, maybe a Skyhawk. So I will make sure to give him plenty of time. Do have three greens? Lights coming on. We've got gear. Inertial separator is open. Flaps are set 15 for now. Goddamn to go, and delta pressure still needs to come down to 0.7. All right, power's coming back to about 8. Marco Island traffic, plot us 9 or 2 on November Golf, turning the right base, runway 35, Marco Island. Oh man, I'm high. We're going to go ahead and go 30 degrees of flap. And power to idle. Marco Island traffic plot us nine or two on November golf turning final three five Marco Island. All right, that worked pretty well. Just a tiny bit high now. And yacht amp is away, delta pressure is below 0.7. Gears down, inertial separator flaps 30, yacht amp's off. Delta pressure is good. 500. Short final runway. Do have a crosswind from the right. A little bit over DSB. Let it slow up just a touch. All right, we'll bring power out to idle. Keep the nose straight with rudder. Oh, that was not a pretty landing. Yikes. I think that's the smoothest bounce I've ever experienced. <laughs> You're not supposed to bounce like that, though. <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead and bring the flaps up. Probes and windshield heats can come off. I'll leave the initial separator open. Gladys, welcome to Marco Island. Exit Bravo, if possible. Welcome. You see me at your 11 o'clock position. I'll park you in this box right next to the white TBM. Okay. All right, well, thanks for riding along, everybody. Welcome to Marco Island. That was, uh, I don't think I've ever bounced this airplane like that. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what happened. It felt like the crosswind kind of went away when I was in the crab. That was kind of an interesting feeling. I'm not sure if it was a gust or if it was just me, but um, either way, glad to have you guys along. Hope you guys enjoyed the flight, and if you want to see more Pilatus videos, you can subscribe to the channel. If you want to be notified so you don't miss anything, go ahead and ring the bell, and we will catch you on the next one.
Looks a lot like a placostomus. I forgot to tell you before we took off. This isn't actually the airport you wanted to go to? <laughs> oh. I might have wanted to stop at Bucky's on the way down. Oh. Um, Bucky's? Well, um, you, we're you kind of a little short. You that would have been tough, wouldn't it? We're a little short on truck stops. Uh. <laughs>